take another L. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they splash? Did they drill? Yeah, yeah, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. Yeah, yeah, this the winning team. Six rings with a picky ring. Everybody used to pick at me, now I'm the one that they picking. Snakes out, they hit scene, but I can't hear it when the crowd screams. Still balling like an offspring. This for all the ones that doubted me. Gotta lose once to be a true winner. Only want the hundreds with the blues in it. Cross it where the blood then just stay turned like you know I've been through that water like Olympic swimmers only bread and butter what we ate for dinner so I had to dream it till the dream is bigger only want the gold we don't need the silver gotta be number one number two never count used to have bubble guts competition now pouring them out making my babies proud wanna cop my mama a house coming straight out the south got enough juice to end the drought yeah I about like I about like 23 it is a Two moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. Justin Rohrwasser is set to kick off. To kick us off, here's Justin Rohrwasser. And we are underway from Santa Clara. down gets him a yard to the 26 for the Packers and Niners this of course a rematch of the NFC championship game from a year ago and that game belonged to the 49ers you might remember Raheem Mostert boy he really made a name for himself with that one 220 yards on the ground four touchdown runs in the 37-20 victory that sent the 49ers to Miami They'll run with Pierman. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Call it an eight-yard game. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. Brings up third and one. Herbert firing quickly here and that's complete and he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down so much for the run on third and one instead it's a big chunk in the pass game first down A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. That right there is the inauspicious start that they were hoping to avoid the turnover on the first possession. I love how you use those college-bound words like that, inauspicious. Well done. I really appreciate that. But here's the thing for me. 
like their game plan is incorrect. You know, I think they felt like they could come in and throw it around pretty well. That interception early, they may rethink how they go about attacking. Following the interception, Love, and that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. The linebacker, Fred Warner, right there on the coverage. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time, separation. That's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Second and 10 now from the 27. where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Ten yards to go. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. <laughs> off the play fake, Love. And he's got his man. That's Landry. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. After getting that turnover on the first drive of the game, you'd hate to just stall out the momentum, go three and out. They're able to avoid that there. Yeah, we talk about complementary football all the time, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. Defense went out, forced a turnover, gave the ball to the offense. It's now the offense's responsibility to pay that off for them, to show respect to them. Hey, you guys got the turnover. We appreciate it. They want to continue their drive. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down now, it's Jones. And he's going to bowl his way forward Aaron to the 48. The still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. And this is third down. This to his running back, Aaron Jones. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Call it a one yard gain of the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And this defense will take over right at midfield. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. But there is a certainty in this game. We know that wherever he goes, he's going to draw a big-time crowd. Throws in a double coverage there. And look, that's something that he's going to have to deal with a lot in this game, I'm sure. Yeah, they were lucky to get away with that one where it just fell incomplete. But they're going to count on him to uncover latent routes and make some difficult catches. Pyramid. 
And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 41. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Brings up third and one. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. 56. This is Pierman. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing it up fourth down. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on fourth. They snap it to Herbert, and that is going to be incomplete. It was Roquan Smith who got his big hand in there to knock it away. Even though they didn't get it, probably. Just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you punted the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means he's got a better chance of being blocked. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact they went for it. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Muck that down for a win in the defense's column. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A gain there of 21 yards. So from the 36 now, first and 10. On play action, love to throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. Try again from the 36 on second and 10. From the shotgun to give to Jones. And a short gain down to about the 33. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Working out of the gun. Love. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. The Packers with the football here to begin the second quarter. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Justin Warwasser on for the field goal. A 50-yard attempt. the crossbar and comes back no good and by just a couple of inches this remains a scoreless game well he had that one on target that's half the battle the other half of the battle however is distance and he nearly had that too but it was a crossbar that said otherwise and that'll deny him a shot at three San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. 
but the other guys held up. <laughs> they didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it, not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much, and I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because I've got the wild bunch backing me up over here on my own side. Now we'll see what his offense can do. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now a quick throw as they get it to Ayuk outside. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. One of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Here's Herbert. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And unable to connect, incomplete. Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. It went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails... Less of a field goal attempt for him. On second down, it's Jones. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Shotgun, it's Love. Looking for Landry, and it's intercepted. Pick 
picked off near the 44. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings this one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. And when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Now it's Pierman. And the 49ers are going to be set up with a first and goal. His good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. They give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Now a handoff looking right, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense going to have to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. And he'll give it here to his running back. No gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave him with a fourth and goal. Right at the line of scrimmage. Well, if this defense can hold him to a field goal here, what a win that would be. Not just a win on the possession, but psychologically take over the ball game. But this started with first and goal. So they were in four-down territory right from the beginning. I say you finish it off and go for the touchdown. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces them to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. It's what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you've got to go put out the fire. And they did, holding them to a field goal. Their own 22-yard line. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. This one a little slow to get cooking. Just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. So that'll back them up five. from the gun and he'll lay out and pull it in what a diving catch there a good pick up there of 20 yards one play has him to the 37 here for first and 10 from the gun love flushed out right and that's off the mark incomplete Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete.
Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. To throw again. Love. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. The linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. And 10 yards to go. So now third and 10. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. To the air again, Love. And Adams has it, complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A good looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. throw again here with Jordan Love flush to his right and this is incomplete they've given up a few first downs on this drive but getting the incompletion there that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide and ten. after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten Throwing again. Love. Setting up the screen here. Aaron Jones. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. First down line at the 34 here on third down. Going back to Love. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Would have been right at about a 52-yard field goal try, but no, they are going to go for this thing on fourth down. They'll run it with Jones. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Here we go. 
The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Side completion to Jones. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as he'll try to get three before half. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 25 yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. This will be fielded inside the five. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Offense ready to get their next drive underway. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Love's pass complete to Devontae Adams. Ten yards on the pickup. It's second and inches at the 31-yard line. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. First down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan.
Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Love going to give this one to Jones. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Aaron Jones. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Of yard. Brings up second and nine. 38-yard line, second and nine. Love now. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 23. 15 yards on the play, first down. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off. But a nice game there for a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. The good signal callers will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. They go back to the ground with Jones. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 yards there and a first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They've got a first and 10 at the 11. They'll run it with Jones. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Packers have taken the lead. Justin Gorwasser. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there.